Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So you guys, this is my first video of 2024 um, and we're doing something new. We're starting a new little series and it is going to be me painting Wild Horse Islands event horses on horses in real life, like little model horses. Now, this video was inspired by Call Me Horsey's video that she did of her painting a skeleton Arabian onto a horse, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun, and she did an amazing job, so credits to her, go check out her channel. First up, we are going to be doing this here, Deep Sea Clydesdale, as you can see, it's a very pretty horse. There's little fish, I think that's a dolphin or something, and then there's seaweed, and then there's like little rays of light coming down. Um, there's a jellyfish and so yeah, we are going to be painting that So to start I took some reference pictures of my deep sea Clydesdale to look at while I'm doing my painting And then my sister strawberry was also painting a horse of her own um, She says that she might post it on her channel But it'll probably be a little bit because as of me recording this she's not finished hers yet um, So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it Alright, so this is the horse I'm going to be painting. It is a Clydesdale by Terra, I think is the brand, T-E-R-R-A. Um, it's not one of the fancy model horses because I just wanted to get them for painting, so we found a pack with a bunch of them. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be painting. This is my sister's strawberry, but we got some new art supplies. So we got that palette, and then we got these uh, paint brushes here. It ruined my nail! We just painted them. <laughs> Alright, so to start, we are going to do a white base coat. So we got this lovely white paint here. So then I went ahead and I got to painting, and I did my nails for New Year's as well. So they're very sparkly at the moment. Um, but yeah, I just went around and I painted the whole thing white. Um, it's okay if it doesn't cover it perfectly because, you know, I'm going to be painting over it. But I just wanted as white of a coat as I could get to start so that I could go ahead and paint my colors that I wanted onto it. White coat complete. Time to do the next thing. Alright, so I pulled up the picture of my Clydesdale on my iPad, and my iPad has a keyboard, so it looks a little weird. Um, I started painting it blue like this, um, but I realized that that was a mistake, and that I should probably paint the coat first, and then go in with the darker detail, so we're just going to skip to that. Alright, so here we are painting the coat. Now you're probably thinking, Lemon, that is not the right shade, but it's okay, because once you do more layers, then it starts looking the right color. Um, so here is me just going in and painting this, um, and then I'm not doing the bottom because I'm going to do that darker anyways, um, but yeah, here is my horse, and then I kept doing multiple coats onto it, um, but here is its coat finished so far, um, as you can see here. Okay, so now I'm going in with the darker blue here, and we're just going to do the bottoms of the hooves, as you can see here. So we did it for this one this one, this one, and this one. Next, I went ahead and started doing the bottom of the Deep Sea Clydesdales um, fade, mane, and tail. So I was just doing the bottom, which is the darker part, um, as you can see here. Okay, this next part, I did not have the right shade, so I wanted to kind of make the lighter color blue, so I just went in with some white, um, and then I decided to smudge it with my finger. So that's what we're doing. Um, I, it's, it turned out okay. I mean, I don't really know what I was doing here, but it's fine. It's fine, guys. It's turning out fine. Okay, so whatever I did turned out okay, and I think it looks pretty good. Um, so next, I'm just going in here, and I'm going to try and do kind of like the rays of light that you can see um, on the Deep Sea Clydesdale. So at the top, and then there's some rays going down. Um, I it, It's not looking so great here. Um, but anyways, this is what it turned out like once I finished doing my whatever I was doing here. Next, I went ahead and did a second coat on my Clydesdale's hooves um, in that darker navy blue color. 
And then once I finished up uh, with that, I went ahead and did a second coat on the mane. Okay, I was scared to do the next part because it was the detail. Um, so I decided to start with the seaweed here because it looked the easiest and I could kind of gauge where it was. Um, it's looking a little zigzaggy, but it's okay. Anyways, I'll speed the rest of this up and there's just me doing all of the detail work on this side as you can see here. It definitely needs a second coat, but we'll get to that momentarily. I also forgot to do the front of uh, the mane here, so we're just going and filling that in with the darker colored paint. Alright, and here is me doing the other side. This side was definitely a lot harder than the other side as it had more things and kind of odd shapes. I then went ahead and painted in the little eye. I painted some more white onto the top as I thought it needed to be a little lighter. Then I took some more blue and I went ahead and started painting in the main because um, I kind of forgot to do that, but we're doing it now. So um, yeah, and then I also did the tail as well. Next, I went ahead and did a second coat on my seaweed and fish and all the little details that I have on here. I went ahead and took some white to add a lighter color to the top um, of the main like this here. Next up, um, I realized that I did not do the seaweed that was on the front of the Clydesdale, so I went ahead and did that. Um, I'm not very good with the seaweed. It kind of just looks like zigzags, uh, like I said earlier, but it's okay. Next, I went ahead and did some touch-ups uh, just here and there on my hair Clydesdale, and let's go ahead and go to the reveal. This is what my Clydesdale ended up turning out like. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. This is my first time painting on a horse, um, so I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I think that the colors are fine. I'm pretty happy with the detail work I did, and then I'm happy with the mane and tail. So overall, I think it's relatively good. I think it's better than I thought. And then there's the top right there. Um, but yeah, this is what it turned out like. But anyways, that is all that I have for this video. I think my Clyde turned out alright. I mean, I'm not the best painter. I'm sure a lot of you guys could have painted this better than me. Um, but I'm happy with it. So, yeah, and it was my first one. If you guys liked it, I hope to do some more of these in the future. I think it's something fun and something different. And I can't wait to grow my collection of uh, Wild Horse Island event horses painted on horse models. <laughs> Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.